I don't look at myself any different than anybody else. I live my life for me. It's the life that I was given and it is the life that I choose to fight and to live. The MS Society is a, a very important part of my life and I think that if there wasn't an MS Society, I don't know what I would be doing. For myself, being able to see my first grandchild and participate in his activities and enjoy time out with my family is what makes each day better than the one before and so that's what I would hope for tomorrow. As a fireman, I led my life to help people and now I need help. Without the support of the MS Society, it's a tough road to travel. About 19 years ago, I was driving in my car and I noticed that there was some tingling sensation in my fingertips. It wouldn't go away. And later that day, I was in my kitchen and I had a glass of water and I dropped the glass. I couldn't feel it in my hands. I was 16 years old. I was going on my way to high school and I realized that I couldn't feel the right side of my body. It was like somebody drew a line completely down the middle of my body. My whole right side went numb. Some of the first symptoms came up when I was running. Um, my legs started flopping over uh, and became kind of numb. I started having symptoms in the mid-90s and um, I was experiencing some numbness and I had some vision issues. I became involved with MS when I was 15 and my mother was diagnosed with it. When my mother got the disease, uh, their normal lifespan was 16 years. Today when you get the disease, it's a normal lifespan. So it's come a long, long way and uh, they've done so much research and the more people help and the more people get involved the better chances that we have of finding a cure. About the year 2000 um, a woman that worked for me started talking about MS and that you know we should get involved and at that time she said we should form a team and joined the MS Walk, and we did, and she coined the name Bev's Crew. And I never dreamed that it would grow into what it is today. This is our 10th year of doing Forward for a Cure. We uh, started out with seven people, and we were to 175, I think 200 this year. And I believe that this year we're estimating that we'll bring in $70,000 for uh, multiple sclerosis and for juvenile diabetes. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. My first uh, effort with the MS Society was 1998 when um, at the behest of a good friend of Trisha's, we formed a family bicycle team and we did our first MS ride. And I think the biggest thing for me is just the people and their interaction and how they're, they're there if you need them. The influence in, that has come from the MS Society and the people I've met through the MS Society um, are very compassionate and very passionate about finding a cure. The people that I talk to now that are young and are newly diagnosed, I give them a lot of encouragement because hope is close, a cure is close. I'm 64 years old, so I'm not walking and raising money for a cure for me anymore. I'm raising money for those who have yet to even be diagnosed. I'm sorry. Nowadays, they tell you keep moving, just keep moving. You know, the, the hope is there, the research is there. Don't let it beat you down, it will. But get right back up and just keep moving.